Are you missing the BBC, ITV and UK television? Tried accessing online and found you blocked? Well, there is a simple solution. One that's easier, cheaper and faster than using a VPN. Just watch this video. Okay, in this video I'm just going to show you how you can set up SmartDNS uh, and unlock just about any media site you like on the internet. Okay, um, now many people used to use um, VPNs and proxies for this, but there's a much better way. If all you want to do is unlock sites like the BBC from abroad or American sites and stuff, there's a much easier way and it's called Smart DNS. Now to set up Smart DNS, pretty easy. I'll show you quickly what you do. This is a Windows 7 PC. You go into your network and internet settings, network and sharing, local area connection, properties, and we're looking for TCP IP version 4. Now it'll be in different places on different versions of Windows. Uh, network connection settings in the Mac are in different places and you're basically looking for these settings on any um, other device as well. It doesn't have to be a PC, you can use it on a tablet, smartphone, media streamer. We're going to go into properties and this is what we're after, the DNS servers. All you need to do is take the smart DNS servers <coughs> that you get from your subscription. I'll show you who I subscribe with. Uh, it costs about three euros a month, but it's well worth it. Uh, and you just put them in here. So you just put the smart DNS servers in there and that's pretty much all it is to it. So if you can find those and you can type them numbers in, you're good to go. You don't need to enable the VPN each time you want to use it. You don't need to connect. Just do that, okay? And just to demonstrate that um, I've already set it up on this. I use a, a program called um, Smart DNS Proxy. This I found it's well, it's one of the cheapest. There's a free trial, which is great, so you can test it out and see if it works first. And um, it's very fast. It works, seems to work perfectly. Okay, just to show you that it is working, I'll show you here on my PC. Let me just go and stream something from the BBC. Look, the news is on at the moment. Let me just do this. Here we go. And there we go, there's the news on the BBC One. I'll just stop that. Uh, now, let's go to NBC, which is, of course is an American only. It's, this is locked to America. So if you're not in the US, you won't be able to watch it. Unless you've got Smart DNS set up. Let's go and play... What is this? America's Got Talent. So I've just clicked on the play here. Uh, normally, I would have been blocked by this point. But here I'll be able to watch the US only version of America's Got Talent. You see there it's just streaming. Smart DNS is quicker than a VPN because it only it only uses part of your connection through a third party server, just enough to hide your location. The most of it's directed from the, the server to your PC, so there's no loss at all. It's basically down to how fast your internet connection is. It won't make it go any faster, but it'll work the same speed. And here we go, here's another little program, Hotstar. This is an Indian media site. I'm just using these for example. A lot of people used to use Hotstar because it had Premiership Football on it. I'm not sure if it still has, but it's, it's great for cricket if you're a cricket fan. Now let me just show you here. So this is the same PC. We've streamed BBC, we've streamed an American only site, and here we are. This is restricted to India only, but you can see I'm gonna be able to watch it because I've got Smart DNS set up. And there we go. That's all there is to it. Why not give it a try? It's a free trial here at dnsproxy.co.uk.